the air filter is off and my filter. Oh, I don't have one. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Here we are. Surprise! A, a, a Monday, Tuesday video? <laughs> what? Buy, Buy, my, my, shirt. Shirt. Buy, my, my, Buy my hat! Buy it all! Get your f***ing ass up and join my Patreon. Well guys, we're here. We've made it to yet another Met Gala. Do we feel anything? It is currently 6.45 on the first Monday in May, which means it is the Met Gala and it is currently happening, like right now. In past years, I would normally film a reaction and put it up uh, six days later, but this year I thought, why not overachieve? <laughs> I can think of a few reasons now that I'm here. Now, I don't think this video needs much of an explanation, but I asked you guys on Twitter to send me Met Gala 2022 looks. This year's theme is Gilded Glamour, which is kind of pointing to the Gilded Age, which was like 1870s to like early 1900s. There's a huge divide between those super rich and the super poor. On one hand, you have a lot of people, white people, getting really rich off of oil, railroads, all of these different things that America was kind of industrializing. And then obviously you have um, all of the other people who were working to basically make these people super rich, who are more immigrants, minorities, etc. When something's gilded, it's covered in a thin layer of gold. It's meant to look really rich and expensive expensive, but underneath it's just shit because it's something painted gold. I'm expecting to see a lot of corsets, silk, or satin, bustles, which like look like the 1800 version of a BBL. Don't be Don't fucking do rude. Without further ado, let's just get into this Met Gala 2022 roast. 2022, 2022. Jesus Christ, that alone could take me out. Oh, and I just realized that I am, yes, wearing a zip patch. Could not be more appropriate for the job I'm about to embark on. Alrighty, y'all. Let's get into it. First up, we have Ansel Elgort, who looks like the just the fucking happiest person to be here. God bless you, Ansel Elgort. I'm, I'm not really sure. He just looks like a fucking butler. I think he looks good and dapper and honestly rich. Like, he just, like, profited off a fucking railroad. I mean, I don't know what profiting off a fucking railroad looks like, clearly, as I sit in like a shredded up t-shirt. He looks like he just won all of Monopoly. Next up we have Jack Harlow and Jack Harlow. Why? I know he just put out a song first class, but this is giving me economy. Maybe economy with extra legroom, but that might even be pushing it. I like this outfit. If this were my wedding and he was my groomsman, you know, like this is exactly what I would want my groomsman to wear. I mean, first I literally need to like be dating someone and then get engaged and then plan a wedding. But like, I'm glad that Jack Carlo's looking out, you know? Also like his hair, could we have, I don't know, done something? Oh my God, why doesn't he have one of those big updos, you know? Like he has the perfect career for him. This is just boring and like not on theme, so. Well, just like that, I feel like a gigantic bitch. Next up we have Ariana DeBose and I don't know who they are and I fucking hate this dress. I will say, as ugly as the dress is, I do feel like they are hitting this gilded age kind of vibe, but like, of today. For example, when a TikToker gets their first check, they buy that really ugly Versace robe that looks exactly like this. It's like that sense of new money. I don't like it, but I kind of get this gilded age vibe. Next up, we have Sabrina Carpenter. And this is what I was afraid of, just a, people wearing fucking gold. Listen, I'm sure she's a nice lady, but the only thing standing between this dress and prom is a missing piece of torso cloth. And her hair? This is like country music award kind of hair, not Met Gala gilded glamour. What? Like, I guess she was on theme with gold. Boo. <laughs> what are we doing here? Okay, next up we have Emma Chamberlain, and I get so torn on this. Everything from the top of the skirt up, I love. Her hair with the color and the texture with the top, I love. It feels on theme, it feels modern, feels very Emma. And then we get to the skirt. And I guess the planning went skirt, skirt, because where is it? I can understand if they're trying to modernize th this era, but if she had come with like a bustle and this as a two-piece with maybe the same fabric, bitch, I'm here for it. I too am wearing a skirt, so if you see me, I'm just like reaching up it. I'm just scratching my leg. I don't know why, they're very itchy today. Yeah, I'm feeling very conflicted with this, but I think she looks great. Next up, we have one of the Sprouse siblings. Um... 
Yeah. You could have told me this was Elon Musk and I'd believe you. Hey, Book, what do we think? Do we feel like nobody followed the fucking theme? And that nobody understands what the theme is? Because I kind of don't either. Yeah, this is giving me exactly what I imagine a Tesla robot looking like. 100%. I hate almost everything about this. I don't care if you're wearing silk. That's not enough. <laughs> I'm just... I've decided. I'm Kim Kardashian Esquire and that's my ruling. I'm sorry, but it looks wrinkly. It looks ill-fitting. The shirt underneath makes almost as little sense as the three straps going across it. I know that this whole gala is to like benefit the Costume Institute, but like it doesn't mean you need to look like you bought a Halloween costume. Wow, I can't believe I have like 45 more looks to do. <laughs> Next up we have Normani. Uh, <laughs> more like Normami. Whoa. No, that was like weird. Sorry. Anyways, I think she looks phenomenal. There are two things I would change about this. The first one being these fucking awful stripes coming off of her neck. The second one would be making this one whole dress and having the torso covered in like skin tight same fabric. Otherwise, I love this. It's giving a nod to the late 1800s, I feel. That being said, I have no fucking idea. You could put the cast of Bridgerton and like someone from the late 1800s, Gilded Age. I would literally say they're the same. I would say they're neighbors. I think that this is on theme and she looks phenomenal. So thank you, Normani. Oh God. Oh, next up we have Kylie Jenner. And what the fuck is this? Kylie, Wiley, why? <laughs> why? I literally, don't understand this. <laughs> I don't understand this for the theme, and I dare I say, I don't even think she looks good. If you told me that this picture was her leaving her hotel to go get married to Travis Scott, that I would believe, and that I honestly would love. Oh my god, and that's Chloe right next to her. Wow. You know it's not great when Chloe is upstaging you. With the Kardashians all being what I would consider new money, why the fuck did they not all come as a theme? Why didn't they look like one nouveau riche fucking family, huh? That's what they are. They could have just come in their little Hulu pantsuit. Courtney K thing. Next up, we have Emma Stone. Oh, okay. So I think she maybe mistook this as The Great Gatsby, 1920. Also giving me Anna Taylor Joy just in 2022. This is like exactly what I imagine Anna Taylor Joy just looking like to get groceries. Anyways, this is Emma Stone and God, it's just so boring. Oh God. Anyways, I was just thinking about how people get invited to the Met Gala and then like wear this. Next up we have Austin Butler and this... <sighs> okay. Austin, you should have taken a page out of Ansel Elgort's book. Okay, you could have been an actual butler. This is so fucking boring. I don't care. If his hair was stylized beyond getting out of the shower and just like doing this, I would actually maybe believe that this could be on theme. Oh, it's just giving like Vanity Fair Oscar after party. And even then it's fucking boring. Next up we have Isabel... Bomeki? I've literally never heard of this person, I'm so sorry. Um, this is interesting to me, it really is interesting. It definitely feels on theme-ish. I love this corset vibe, I love the gold dress vibe together. I feel like I'm trying to convince myself I like this. And is it working? I still don't know. This is where I have trouble with this theme because like, between Bridgerton like the Gilded Age and then like people in Renaissance paintings. I don't understand the difference between like all three of those, if I'm being perfectly honest. When, wait, when did the fucking Renaissance happen? Okay, I might take a break <laughs> and just really give me a reason to not know any information. BRB. Boot, cat, boot, cat, boot, cat, boot, cat, boots, cat. God. I'm back, I know. Yeah, no, I also wondered if I would actually return. Oh yeah, Elizabeth. <laughs> I think Isabel looks good. I don't know about the theme. I don't care, honestly. <laughs> Next up we have Evan Mock and I love him. <laughs> he really could kick me in the throat and I would still ask if he needed to be pleasured. Chris, that was insane. I love this look. The only thing, and I cannot believe this is the part I'm pointing out that I wish I would change. I wish the corset went down further so that he wasn't showing any skin. I know, I cannot believe that that is my take. And I wish the pants didn't have like little vaginas cut out in them now that I'm looking at it longer. But wow, Evan. Woo, baby Evan. Heaven. Next up we have Jessica Chastain and Jessica, what does my future hold? Because <laughs> you look like a fortune teller. Oh my god, or is she like 
going as Madame Tussaud. Like, this is exactly what I imagine Madame Tussaud looking like. Yeah, I, I don't love this. I don't think it's very flattering. I wish they, like, would have put her hair, like, in the little turban. I don't know if I just hate sequins, but this really isn't doing it for me. It doesn't even feel like, woo, the theme. Next up, we have Blake Lively, and I believe she is, like, one of the main people this year. And wow, I fucking hate this outfit. Ugh. I just don't understand why she looks like a car in a Christmas commercial with a huge fucking bow on it. I understand that maybe she's going for the bustle vibe. It's once again giving me, I got you a car for Christmas. At first I hated like the patchwork mosaic looking dress. I don't know. This is just not what I was looking for. I'll probably get yelled at that this was on theme. None of this is supposed to be fucking taken seriously, guys. I mean, I'm a dude sitting in a skirt itching my ass without having to literally unbutton my pants. Yeah, I mean, why is anybody actually taking what I'm saying seriously? And then Blake changed and I hate the dress more. <laughs> I feel like such a bitch. I will say though, as much as I hate this outfit, um, I, I do get more of the gilded glamour idea. Like it's giving me very much like something copper that's oxidized and then it's been covered in gold, but the thin layer of gold is like coming off. Maybe that's just me using the part of my brain I used during photo school, trying to come up with meaning in a photograph I took on the way to class, but Let's go with it. I mean, it's Blake Lively. I think she looks fucking flawless all the time. I just don't love these outfits. Next up, we have Billie Eilish, and this might be one of my favorites of the night. Between the corset and the dress and the silk, like, and, and the hair, this is so good. Like, this is so good. And like, at the same time, it doesn't feel like she's wearing a costume. I will say, at first I wasn't for the sleeves, and then I was like, no, I'm for the sleeves. I am very much for the sleeves. Also, my eye is really irritating me. I don't know if it's from a majority of these looks or just from something going in my eye. Next up, we have Amy Schumer. <laughs> I'm really not meaning to like laugh at her. I just honestly would never expect this look from Amy. That being said, I think she looks fucking good here. Do I think she's giving gilded glamour? No. Do I think she's giving like Kris Jenner mob boss? Yeah. And what's more American than that? <laughs> I mean, like, I guess the jacket dress could be like a nod to what men wore and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I just don't see the theme, but I think she looks great. Next up we have Shawn Mendes, and yes, of course, Shawn Mendes looks great. Shawn Mendes could show up in James Charles' body heat predator suit and still look fucking hot. A part of me feels like this is on theme and a part of me feels like he is a gay Paul Revere. Not like he is gay, I know Sean is straight, I'm not gonna make a straight man feel uncomfortable, but it's definitely giving like, the British are coming, the British are coming. That was out of pocket, okay, yep. I heard it. Yeah, I think that this is here and he is there and now we're not. All right, we have Sebastian Stan, and I'm gonna keep this one short and brief. You know, they say two in the pink and one in the stink. He put everything in the pink and it still stinks. Next. All right, next up we have Lady Gaga, and this, oh my God, my little monsters, this is divine. Next up we have Jordan Roth, and I don't know what is going on, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. It. This is giving me like a gothic Hershey kiss, but also like if you look at it sideways It kind of looks like a fish with an open mouth and his head is coming out of the mouth and that thing on his right arm Is the eye. Do we see this? <laughs> Having a blast. I'm not sure what this says about Gilded Era Maybe he's coming as like a piece of coal that like the Rockefellers or someone made money off of I don't know how on theme this is because I genuinely don't know how on theme this is, but I love this. Like, I literally want one. I want to live in my own little black quilted igloo. Are you kidding? This is my dream. This is, uh, this is my dream. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh my God, next up we have Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny is one of the very few where I don't even give a shit if he is on theme because he just delivers an experience. It's not like he missed the theme and he showed up in like a sequin dress. I truly don't know what the fucking theme inclusion is with this. I don't care. I literally don't give a shit. Next up we have Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner and what in the Vegas wedding is going on? They look like the kind of lesbian couple that like one of the women chooses to be the groom and then one of them chooses to be the bride. Joe looks like he picked both roles and Sophie is 
just the surrogate. This is the second time I'm reviewing them as a couple in one of these videos in the span of like two months, and it's too much. They make me so uncomfortable, and I don't know why. I think Sophie looks good, but again, I think she's giving Renaissance, not 1870s. Next up, we have John Batiste, and that is a man in a tuxedo. Next up, we have Emma Corrin, and I think that they look amazing. I am so fascinated every time I see photos of Emma Corrin, whether they're editorials or whether it's like shit like this. This is giving me like, I just capitalized on the railroad industry and I live for it. I don't know, I think Emma Corrin served. I think Emma looks great. I think Emma performed, and I think Emma showed the fuck up. Next up, we have Courtney and Travis. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, let's start with Courtney. Um, immediately not getting it. But then I look further into it, and I'm still not getting it. It honestly looks like she was taken off the Skims PR list, and then just had to resort to using like an ace bandage. This is giving very much Oscars 2.0 of like. What? I know that you guys have all the time, all the money, and all the resources. And you burnt them all to the fucking ground, apparently. Travis's outfit, I love that he's wearing a Tom Brown skirt. That's honestly the most I can say. I genuinely like them as a couple, I'm not even gonna fucking lie. I don't understand why this keeps happening. Next up, we have Kana Chasing Horse. I'm sorry if I said her name wrong. I think she looks fucking stunning. I think the fact that there's Native American representation at this, especially at yet another America-themed Met Gala. Obviously, besides the Native American jewelry and influences, I'm not really getting much of a Gilded Age theme. I think she looks phenomenal. I just don't get the theme. Next up, we have Kris Jenner, and she literally looks like she is supposed to be in Showgirls or something. I literally do not understand this whatsoever, but honestly, she looks fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. I like this color on her. I like the silhouette. I like the glove. I love this hair. You know what, Miss Jenner? You missed the theme by a couple decades, but you look fucking good doing it. Okay, so yeah, why is Kris Jenner showing up both Courtney and Kylie? And also Chloe. Next up, we have Olivia Rodrigo, and this. I don't think she's following the theme quite literally whatsoever. However, I think she looks phenomenal. The butterflies in the hair is like a little campy for me. It's giving very much there's a new Kylie Cosmetics palette coming photo shoot vibes. I don't get the theme with this one, if I'm being honest, vibes. Next up we have Hailey Bieber, and she's definitely sitting at the table at the Met Gala of the rest of the people who are gorgeous, but did not follow a theme. I think she looks stunning. I think she looks great. I don't understand why her hair is slicked back. Babes, put that shit up. Sorry, I was trying to think of literally a new way of saying they look gorgeous, but they missed the theme. Hey, Anna Wintour, I know you're not watching, but on the slight chance that you are and you've pff, made it this far. Thoughts on a Met Gala theme that's gorgeous, but off theme. I think we'd have a full attendance. Next up, we have Anita, and I think that it's Anita, so she obviously looks fucking stunning. The dress, I guess, could be on theme with like the whole like bubbles on both sides. The pearls are confusing me because they look like they were thrown on because the theme was Gilded Age. It's giving DIY, but you know what? At least it's like on theme. Next up we have Cara Delevingne. Cara, this top is giving very much gilded. Like the outline of the nipples and shit literally make it look like a very thin coating of gold is put over, which is interesting. I'm not gonna lie. The rest of the outfit does the same that her house on Arc Digest does for me. Absolutely nothing. Next up we have Emily Ratajkowski and Emily Ratajkowski. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is this like a joke? Like did someone Photoshop this? Because this can't be. <laughs> this cannot be. Oh, this is so baffling to me. Like if someone showed me this outfit and said, all right, get dressed for the Met Gala, I would say, oh, <laughs> find a seat filler, bitch. Next up, we have Riz Ahmed, and I love this outfit. I don't even need to know what's going on the boots scream 1800s. At first I was like, what the fuck is this? And then I was like, hold on a minute. And then I looked a little bit more into this and I was correct. Riz Ahmed was showing what it was like for minority immigrants who were making all of these people rich at the time. I love 
this. Especially in the current political climate of America, having an America-themed Met Gala again. I love that he took this route. I don't even know who Riz Ahmed is, and I want to now. Next up, we have Cardi B, and she took the I'm just gonna wear gold route. I mean, she looks good, the updo is great, the gown is pretty, I hate the fucking gloves, absolutely hate. I don't know, I think it's interesting with all the chains and the details once you look closer into it, it's just not doing it for me. Next up we have Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. Pete Davidson, why did you show up? I love you, but why did you show up? Kim is wearing Marilyn Monroe's Happy Birthday Mr. President dress, which is literally iconic. However, I wish she wore this to the last Met Ball and then wore something else to this one, considering her ass looks like a fucking bustle. Next up, we have Nicki Minaj. I don't really understand how this hits the theme, nor do I really understand how her boobs are staying in this dress, perfectly honest. Oh my god, and I am not understanding that fucking belt. I don't love this Nicki look, but at least we know that her shoes will not be thrown this year because um, they seem to be just a part of her pants. Next up we have Kid Cudi and is giving me big blue riding hood. I get that maybe this is on theme, but all I'm really getting is that he is about to take Emma Corrin's hat and pull a bunny out of it. He looks like a fucking magician. I love that Kid Cudi is secure with himself and does whatever and wears whatever and really is comfortable in that. It's just, I don't know, it's fine. Next up we have Tommy Dorfman and I don't understand her look. I don't think it's even that flattering. It looks like it's just not sitting right. Something looks off about it. I just don't love it. It's not giving me the theme. I can see how the dress might be trying to emulate corseting, but it's giving me like Madison Beer album cover or whatever the fuck. Next up we have Sarah Jessica Parker and this, I, is this not what Sarah Jessica Parker wears every year to the Met Gala? I swear to God, I feel like this is all I've ever seen her in. I wanna file this one under like, I don't care, you know? Like I, I there's too much going on and I don't care. Next up we have Janelle Monae, and I think she looks fucking stunning. Is this giving me gilded glamour? Not really. I'm really not good at fashion eras, but this is giving me like 20s or 60s or, I don't know, this is just not. <sighs> <clears throat> yep, Janelle is sitting at the table of looks gorgeous, but did not follow theme. And sitting right next to her is Vanessa Hudgens. Hello, Vanessa. I can like see what she's trying to do with this outfit. Do I think it's working? No. No, I don't. I don't feel like you should show up to a Gilded Glamour themed event looking like Victoria's Secret. Next up we have Gigi Hadid in this red ensemble. I have to say I really like this a lot. The part I'm confused about is the latex leggings. Obviously I'm sure that Versace was just trying to modernize this gilded glamour look, but I feel like that was done by turning that kind of a dress into a jacket. Like, I don't hate the latex, it just, like, to me, takes away from what would have been otherwise. But I like this, GG, you look great. Oh, and that was the last one. Alrighty, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty disappointed with this year's Met Gala. All in all, I feel like I'm not obsessed with this year's theme. It's not really my vibe. So I feel this lack of like interest or connection to it. I know that there are people missing. If you'd like to see me do them, comment them down below and maybe I'll do that for a Patreon video. Based off of all of the Met Gala looks we just looked at, I don't think I got Gilded Glamour. I got more Heidi Klum Halloween party. So do with that what you will. Hope you enjoyed this. Can't say that I did. Alrighty, I'm gonna go medicate heavily. Thank you so much.